Hey Aries, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of June 25th through the 30th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have the Hierophant, the Hermit, King of Swords, Death. Okay, so we have Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio so far. So maybe you have placements in those signs or maybe you're dealing with those signs. We have Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this could have to do with something in the workplace or maybe a relationship, some sort of relationship that you're working through. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but I do that. I do feel that for some of you it is because this Two of Cups is coming through um, and giving off a lot of energy. The world also does kind of speak to the beginning of a new cycle. I feel like you recently might have ended something or walked away from something and now you're quickly, um, it seems, jumping into something else. And I feel like it could have to do with um, something that you've recently kind of discovered was necessary to do or something that you're you know, feeling inspired to do. Also, the reason why work shows up because Ace of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. I just feel like this has to do with either a work relationship or a personal relationship. And no matter what, I feel like you're just becoming more sure of something. There's a lot of confidence in this energy right here. I feel like you're really happy that something has ended. It doesn't look like this is an ending that has caused you any sense of like stress or worry. It feels very relieving. I feel like you've completed a cycle here. Um, and you're just ready to get the next thing going. I feel like this could have to do with work where you're, you know, happy that you've completed some time at maybe a previous job or you're just, you're really excited for this new beginning. I feel like no matter what it has to do with or, you know, whatever it looks like, I feel like no matter what you're seeing it as an opportunity for growth, an opportunity for expansion, for more abundance, I feel like everything surrounding this new chapter is you know you're seeing it with a positive light it's giving you a sense of um you know just satisfaction that your hard work is going to pay off because you're not stuck anywhere like you're still you know moving up and continuing to elevate and you know get into a different role maybe you're you know getting a, a job here or a position that has more leadership and so you're not staying at one level of this you know you're you're constantly finding opportunities to increase your um, your work-life balance, but also the quality of your work. I feel like you being satisfied with what you do is very important. I feel like right now you've attracted an opportunity that you can see yourself working in, that you can see yourself enjoying. Whereas before, I feel like you walked away from a work that maybe you were good at it, maybe you enjoyed it to some degree, but it wasn't something you could see yourself doing for the long term. So now with this, it feels really different. It feels like something you can invest in. It feels like something that can turn into a long-term commitment. And overall, I feel like you've recently received news or some sort of message that has kind of clarified that and validated this. And now when the offer shows up, it almost feels like a no-brainer that you're gonna take it. So again, there's a lot of confidence behind the decision to go after this. Um, and to accept whatever comes with this new offer or opportunity. With the Hermit and the King of Swords, I feel like you took your time to make this choice. I feel like you took your time to look for this new position. Um, you really waited and trusted the process when it comes to this entire thing because I feel like you were not going to rush into the first thing that showed up. You really took your time to research and look at what you know position do I feel comfortable in. Maybe you were worried you know, that you were going to take a long time to find a good position. But overall, I feel like you were very um, clear minded. I feel like you had your, your goal in mind. Your perspective was, you know, I feel like you just didn't want to rush into anything that seemed like it wasn't good enough or something that seemed like it wasn't worth your time and energy to even try. So with that, I'm just saying you took your time to find this new opportunity. And now that it's coming through, now that you're really getting into it, you're realizing, okay, it was worth for me to take my time to find it. It was, you know, worth for me to um, wait out this cycle and not end it until I felt ready to do so. So there's a lot of maturity, a lot of growth and a lot of strategy in this reading because of how you've approached this new opportunity and now that it's coming through you're really satisfied with what you did and how you went about it 
six of pentacles or sorry six of wands at the bottom of the deck i feel like this is your success coming through i feel like you're going to feel very victorious um in this new role and i feel like it's going to give you the opportunity to get that recognition and that praise that you deserve for the work that you do i just feel like overall we also have nine of cups i feel like you're going to feel very satisfied um not just with the money not just with the work itself but just with the whole thing i feel like it's gonna really give you a better work-life balance or something here about you know that's satisfying to the soul like it's just not all about money for some reason i'm seeing this as something so much more than that with the two of cups i also feel like this could have to do with you also um maybe taking a relationship to the next level maybe while you're also going through this you know work situation or you know something that has to do with your money i feel like at the same time you could also be simultaneously trying to figure out you know the next step for your love life or your romances your you know relationships i just feel like there's a lot going on but it's all towards you know just upgrading it's all towards getting better um and increasing more of that abundance but let's go ahead and clarify the two of cups because it's the only thing that you know kind of stands out to me right now because everything else is pretty self-explanatory i just feel like you're walking into a new chapter um let's see let's clarify the two of cups okay so we have six of cups at the bottom of the deck so maybe you're connecting to somebody here that you have a friendship with or maybe this is about family wow we also have ace of cups at the bottom of the deck so maybe you're connecting to somebody new maybe this is someone that you already have history with i just feel like somebody is going to be very significant at this time when it comes to love um i feel like you are hmm, okay we have eight of swords three of cups two of swords and temperance to further clarify the two of cups so it seems like an unlikely connection but it also is coming through as a challenge um so with the three of cups and the temperance there could be a situation here where maybe you've had distance between you and another person um and you're finally ready to reconcile or you're finally ready to see them again there's something about you kind of re having a reunion or reuniting with somebody here um almost as a way to celebrate like maybe you and a friend or you and a group of people are going to celebrate this new offer maybe there that's when you connect with somebody on a deeper level um two of swords and eight of swords though is coming through to me as you having some sort of maybe fears or doubts about a particular person that you're connecting with it's almost like you need to see a little bit more before you can really trust that someone is actually being authentic or genuine i feel like there's nothing you know more annoying for you than to connect with somebody that is not real that's not authentic that's not honest so i feel like you're kind of vetting someone out like you're trying to figure out if they're really who they say they are if they're really showing up you know with you the way that they do in front of everyone else so i just feel like you're really trying to see someone for who they really are because maybe right now you're not really convinced with somebody i just for some reason i'm getting that okay cards are going crazy dropping all of them um just wanted to clarify the um death card really quick to see what that ending was about all right five of wands at the bottom of the deck yeah i feel like whatever ended here really you know you were just happy you were happy about this situation coming to an end i feel like you dealt with something just super toxic um for those of you that were leaving a workplace that was not serving you i feel like you quickly kind of came to that realization recently and were like no i can't deal with this anymore so we have devil three of pentacles and the hanged one i feel like for a long time you were dealing with the situation and it just wasn't changing and the fact that it didn't change for quite some time that's really another reason why you were so happy once you finally left it because you were getting away from energy that was stagnant that was not changing not evolving and i feel like you don't you know want to be a part of things like that you want to be in a, an environment and surrounded by energy that helps you grow helps you thrive and helps you develop so when it came down to making a decision to walk away from this i feel like you did it with that in mind and it was just very easy for you to make this choice because three of pentacles and the devil does kind of confirm that this could be about you leaving a workplace or 
maybe separating yourself from people that just were not letting you feel comfortable. Uh, maybe you felt like they were constantly judging you or maybe you felt like you were surrounded by people that were just always negative or miserable and you just didn't want to be a part of that. So I just feel like you're just relieved with this ending. You're relieved and you're really happy about this new offer, this new opportunity. But the way that you're approaching this, the way that you've really stayed strong and were patient in this environment while you were waiting for the right opportunity to come through, that is the most impressive thing about this entire reading is your patience, your ability to wait it out because you knew that what was coming next had to be so much better and now it's being proven here with the world. You're really stepping into this new chapter um, and it's going to be really amazing and very fruitful for you. So love this for you, Aries. If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.